the number of things I'm going to end up with, the number of subsets I'm going to end up with <coughs> is going to get pretty big pretty quickly if I let n be very big, right? So let's maybe make n 3. That, OK. So let's say we have the original set A, B, C. And we want to write down all the subsets there are of that. Okay, and we're going to divide it into subsets of size k, where k is going to go 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, those are the possible sizes of subsets. So for k equals 0, we only have one subset, the empty set. For k equals 1, <coughs> so this is, <coughs> excuse me, 3 choose 0 equals 1, right? That's what we're just calculated. We've enumerated it. There's only one thing there. It all matches. K equals 1, we have three possibilities. We have this subset, we have this subset, and we have this subset. That's 3 choose 1, which is 3. How about instead of 1? <clears throat> okay, so we've got the subsets of size 0, the subsets of size 1. How about the subsets of size 2? Is this in the way? Well, now we've got this idea that, remember, n choose k is the same as n choose n minus k. We have the subset that leaves a out, the subset that leaves b out, and the subset that leaves c out, right, is another way to think of these. So one of these subsets is b, c, one of them is a, c, and one of them is a, b. 3 choose 2 equals 3 choose 1 equals 3 of those. And then for k equal 3, we only have one choice, all of them. And that's 3 choose 3 equals 3 choose um, <coughs> uh, n minus 3 equals 1. So. Indeed, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 2 cubed equals 8 possible subsets. So 3 choose 0 plus 3 choose 1 plus 3 choose 2 plus 3 choose 3 is equal to 8. That, that's all we're doing. We're dividing this collection of subsets into those subsets that have no members, those subsets that have 1, those subsets that, subsets that have 2, and that subset that has 3. <coughs> 